in the first case, we had a conventional single screw tug that was being used to lift a ship's stern off the berth. The tow line was attached around midships on the tug and the propulsion was pointing towards the ship so that the tug could run ahead. But there was also a current running and wind onto the berth. Once the ship let go the spring line, they used the bow thruster to lift the bow clear. The wind and current, however, set the ship tug combination astern towards a mooring dolphin. In order to stay clear, the ship started to run ahead on its engines. This brought the tow line around the tug's stern and started to pull her sideways. Very quickly, the forces acting on the tug heeled her over and she capsized before the crew could do anything. It's a process known as girting or girding for my North American friends. When a tow line is attached near midships, as it usually needs to be on conventional tugs, it's easy for the tow to capsize the tug. It could be that a ship runs ahead unexpectedly or even, in the case of a dead tow, like a barge, during a turn the tow could overtake the tug and girt it that way. Fortunately, there are some simple steps that a tug can take to minimize the risk. The simplest is known as gogging. Essentially, you use a wire or metal frame to restrict the tow line at the stern of the tug. You can still have a little play in it to allow a bit of maneuverability, but should the tow move and start pulling from a beam, the tug will be pulled safely around and simply get pulled astern by the tow. 